So I tell him, all right, there's a laser down there. You just need to clo- press the button and quickly come to the thing and get over the laser and you'll be fine. So he presses it. He runs. He never looks up at where the door is. And you just, you jumped as high as you could have. Yeah. It felt like. It felt like you, you it looked tried, like you tried you to hurdle. You thought to yourself, I'm going to jump as high as possible. And your head and the door, the garage door, met in a hole like Brian Dawkins and Emmett Smith. We just mentioned Ticket last night, acting as if we weren't going to address the fact that Ticket, we're all sitting around with the good, good guys in the living room, and Ticket comes walking around with the guitar yeah. in his hands. Yeah, he grabbed the and guitar he's like he was John Mayer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, and then he like sits and everybody's ready for him to play. He's like, oh, I'm not playing. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, well, you can't sit down with the guitar in the middle yeah. of the room. Yeah. Usually when you pull a guitar out, people start looking. He did have those yeah, fingers I mean, like, flying, like though. It's yeah. like, it's like it's guitars like, are good when, for bonfires yeah. and fucking that yeah. way. Yeah. Yeah. I thought he was going to start singing when, Kumbaya. When, when Ticket came around with the guitar, Jet saw it, Jet just looked at it and goes, I can't do this. I can't do this. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I can't. I can't. He's like, I can't. By the way, you know my favorite part of the guitar whole... comes out? I'm you know, I'm fair, I, went, I went to the corner. You saw me in the corner. No. You were holding the guitar. I didn't start the corner. I didn't, oh, start, yeah. the didn't corner, start the corner. Start the but corner. I put myself Ticket, in the corner. You could have been on the roof. The couch. If you're holding a guitar, people are going to look. Dick, you yeah. came dead center. Yeah. And you were even like elevated above everybody in a way. Yeah, it was like a Super Bowl halftime. He like descended from the ceiling. and he showed Yeah. Oh, my yeah, favorite part of, of last kidding. night being in the good, good place was just <laughs> looking over and watching Jet with Colin Ross and Ryder, and they were just going through. Talking shop. It's not wrong. They were just like they were just like they, you could talk. see they were just giving the sharing horror stories. It was, yeah. it was like it, it wasn't was, horror stories. It was you know it was a nice little meeting of you know of the minds. Of the minds. He, to be honest, he's he's the OG of of this stuff. I, at least man. to me. So it's like you know it was cool talking. Me he spends about twelve to thirteen hours a day on the computer. I mean, you're looking at I, I, you're looking right at me. I do the exact same thing, Cutsy. I'm I'm just I'm saying is like they have so many guys I would think that he spends less time. Oof. Well, he. Like, why, why are is that we news? doing oofs? What? There is mo- There's like six camera guys and editors on their team. Why is that an oof? It's I thought oof. that he'd be working less. I, no, that's a fair point. How is that a fucking oof? I it was like it was it was a, it was a ricochet it wasn't, shot. It wasn't it was a, a shot ricochet. at anybody. I was just it saying wasn't that a shot like ricocheted off I was, the guitar. I was wildly impressed me. that like with all that t- with that. Huge because team. He's still spending it's because he's time. a grinder. He's a grinder. Like he loves that. He shit. does so love like, it. Do we get an answer? He it. He said he loves it. He Who? said he doesn't want to like Colin? give By the way, up any time. I don't like, know. He wants to be the center Colin. of it. I don't know yeah. if it's. I don't know if it's that he loves it or he doesn't trust anybody yeah, to do trust. it to his level. It's the same thing with Brand uh, with, with Brendan Jones for yes. foreplay. He said, told me the same thing. He's like, I had every video. I have trouble control. He's like, I don't trust anybody else to do it. I feel the and same way. Yeah, it's just like Jet. Yeah, you can't just hand it off. Yeah, it's like you've been. You've been painting. And you know what? Once you hand it off and somebody fucks it up, everybody just assumes it was still you. I'll say say this. Because it was. We're big big Brendan Jones guys from Mm Foreplay. I love Brendan Jones. Um, Obviously, we're biased to our guys. But I will say, out of all the groups that we've done with, probably, I think, the best assortment of editors, just from like a... They're the nicest guys. Like, they're such a great... What's wrong with that? I thought you were going to say our guys. No, I'm biased. Besides okay, our guys, okay, I'm okay. saying we're yeah we're that, a very that, big, were they not the nicest? They group? are yeah, yeah. and we're, we're a guys. very big we're a pro producer editor group here. We're very you know oh, you yes. show a lot of love oh, oh, always 100%. to everybody. We're pro, we're pro production and we room. yeah we love them all. We hate me, but we love them all. You hate you. And I hate myself, but we love them all. And they were they were a great crew. There's nothing that that bothers me more than if somebody comes on the channel and doesn't like come and introduce himself to you guys or like give you guys much. Like I like the banter where yeah, yeah. It, it's with the editors too because they're a huge part of it too. To where like even those guys too, they get in the mix, they talk to you on the can. Like it it just adds to the whole mm-hmm. thing. Their crew was awesome. Yeah, I mean I like hanging out with those. Dudes, just as much as I like hanging yeah. out with, with Garrett and Bubby and, and Steve and all of them. I mean, the, they hang out the same way we hang out, right? Like, it's it's not like we have an Airbnb and we make... Yeah, just in a much, guys, much like, nicer Airbnb. Yeah, you guys don't, like, pitch a tent out back. Yeah, can we talk like, about the fact that Good Good 
dropped their balls <laughs> on our Airbnb. We were going to have a nice place. place. It's this super nice. nice. This, this is a nice, nice place. It's a solid spot. Aside from the jacuzzi not working, which I, I just oh, infuriates God. me. And it's Ooh. not Perez's fault. It's not. A, it's it's the house's fault. <laughs> I knew it wasn't my fault. I know, but Bob instantly likes to create this narrative. He's like, oh, and he looks right over at Perez. That's well, true. I, I'm saying is that this place is great. There's there's just a difference between this and like Villa. De Garrett, like <laughs> <laughs> Villa de Kendrick, I believe. Villa yeah. de Kendrick, Villa de Garrett, Villa that de place, Good Good. That, that place, place is, it, it literally is massive, and the pool house. I think it's about almost as big as our place. I believe El Chapo used to come here for golf trips, <laughs> yeah. and that's where he stayed. They had a par, a par three. three, but yeah. to me, the, the back, there was a horse stable. There's horse a horse stable. stable. A second, they had two out, two other houses. Grapefruit trees. They did. in their backyard. They did. They had, it was like they were living on a. On a there fucking was like a, a compound. compound. There was another compound for like the workers of the property. It's crazy that lived on it's site. Insane. It's crazy. Yeah, we were doing the wheel of not hey. ideal, and I turn around, and I see Stephen eating a grapefruit, and I'm like, where did yeah. he get that? And he goes to take another one, and he just plucks it from. It's like the we're tree. in the Garden of Eden. The the li- I've never seen a place so big that the living room so big that there has to be two TVs in the living room. Because That's correct. It's too too big to just look at one TV. So yeah. they had to pretty much divide the living room and then put a TV on each side. And by side. the way, there's art, there's statues and shit in yeah. there. Marble. Whenever you see statues and marble in a place, <laughs> you just know it's, it's cut from a different cloth. It is. There they had, yeah. The you know, another another one is, you gotta look at how high those ceilings are. Oh yeah. Oh, those were some right. high fucking and ceilings. And the furniture yeah. was unbelievable. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's that they, couch, I just, you just got swallowed. You know how much, how much you think that couch was? I th- well, $20,000. I was gonna say 25. Yeah, I'd say 10 each. I think that's a good guess. Side, 10 on each side. Yeah. They had those Sectional couches where you just sit. It's like it was like you sunk. sunk in them. It was like quicksand. It pulled you in. I um, wonder if it's just it's just the place to just put money. You just like buy a bunch of nice stuff and you put it in this place, and then you rent it. And then when it's all said and done, and the government takes all your cash, <laughs> and you go to jail for twelve years and you get out, you just liquidate this place, and you still got like you know six seven mil. Yeah, yeah. Maybe it was El Chapo. Could have been. <laughs> we, um, Could have been. We'll never know. It was twenty five hundred dollars to heat the pool for yeah. a week. Yo, is that true? Yeah. yeah. How? I, like as big. Oh, as the, the pool hot... was as big as this did, house. Oh, did you say the pool or the hot tub? The, the, the whole it, thing. You know the whole what, thing. Even if it is the pool. The whole thing. That, the pool was massive. That's though, that's a nervy charge. Well, even a our pair... Airbnb, they charged a hundred dollars for the heat, which we for paid, day. and it didn't work. Which is, by the way, I hope that you send a, an email for you know a refund. Won't. You know I won't. That's I know, but those are the I'll send the email. Those are things that should just not be like looked over. I just don't. I don't like confrontation. I I, I don't like confrontation. Oh, I don't like. I'd I don't like. Sending. I don't like trying to get things for free that I like asked for. Well, you didn't. Like, but like, I don't like sending food. I don't like. Yeah, but you I don't didn't like get it, and you paid for or, like you know. Do you, know, do you like paying like for things that you don't receive? Would you like to go into a store and pay a hundred dollars? <laughs> I pay for a lot of shit I don't get. Yeah, cuts. He doesn't like it, but he'll accept it. You know who does like confrontation? I'll though? sign it. Leland. Leland. <laughs> yeah, get a, a, line we'll get a, we'll get get a couple of drinks and he'll send a yeah, fucking a re- scathing <laughs> review. He'll yeah, be on Yelp look, in look, no time. It, it'll come up in the review. Yeah, it it'll should come up. up. It it'll should come up. Five stars would have them again. If it's anything like last time. Yeah, we're, that's we're that's in. crazy. Do you Jet, review them? Sh- tell them. Yeah, 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 yeah. We gotta tell them what happened. Do it. I'm gonna do, do it. it. We were in Ponte Vedra. You ain't gonna, do, you ain't gonna do it. I'm gonna take one. Yeah, I'm gonna take one. <laughs> I'm gonna take one. <laughs> one story. Apparently, Jet one. didn't just take one. <laughs> and um, <laughs> no, we took one. We got. It was Bob's birthday. The last. <laughs> it was the last night we were there. It was Bob's birthday, and we went out in Jacksonville Beach and got absolutely banged up. <laughs> right, rocks. We did banged up. I ordered about hundred and twenty dollars worth of Taco Bell. It was one thirty, and we. It was one thirty, and we stayed in this duplex that had double side, two different entrances. You and Jet on one side, Bob Tick and I on the other. We got banged up, finished the Taco Bell on Jet's side. Jet, by the end of it, was falling on the floor drunk. He <laughs> fell on the. He ate a taco, <laughs> placed it on the table, and then scooched down, <laughs> fell on the floor. I said, Jet, you're not going to want to sleep there. And he got up, banged around to the bathroom. I hear him banging in the bathroom. <laughs> Comes out, of the, swings the door open, bangs down the hallway, bangs up the, the staircase, and I just hear boom, 
<laughs> and I was like, all right, I think he's good. <laughs> and come to, come to find out the next day, he threw up everywhere yeah. upstairs. Oh, oh, I everywhere. Tougher, one of the toughest And scenes. I just heard Jet say, Cutsy. <laughs> and I go, Jet? He goes, it's bad. I said, what? He goes, oh, it's bad. And I walked to the entrance of the door I and I saw something. something that I wouldn't even, I would not make my worst enemy look at. And it smelt like the rotting of a thousand corpses. It was, it was horrid. Oh, no, no, and no, he's I got to say shoveling that. this oh, oh. into garbage bags. Oh. I had to leave. I'm like, Jet, I, did. I love you but you're on your own in this one jet I, then proceeds to become like a maid starts doing laundry washing the kids it was all over the sheets I was, somehow yeah. he didn't throw up on himself oh. i was playing against the clock too because we oh, had like a 10 a.m exit we i woke up it. at like 9 42 we had a 10 a.m like checkout <laughs> i went into beast mode now with that being said it was bob's birthday we, we all you know we went off we had a great time Maybe too good of a time, <laughs> I would but I wouldn't. Good. I wouldn't trade it for anything. It was. It was incredible. Now the the morning, but my main worry was that we were gonna have an issue with Airbnb, as we, we should have. And I was like, FP, had. just let me know whatever the damages are. Um, the damages were five stars and a yes. request to come back. Five out of five would host again. Yeah, I don't know why that said, duplex that was, smelled <laughs> so bad when I locked that door. Jet cleaned that thing because I was like, I wonder how bad it is. Like, oh my god, it was it was, it was three bad. story. You threw up on the third story, oh, yeah. and at the front you, door on the bottom, it smelled <laughs> like smell. Yeah, Jet I cleaned that up. place up better than Dexter after a murder scene. Like I, it was. I don't know how he did it. I oh, woke up. I woke up, and I, it was one of those where you wake up, you're like, something happened, and we're gonna find out right now. I looked off the bed. I was like, oh no, it was horrid. <laughs> Tough scene. The well, problem, the good news uh, is, I yeah, I mean, the, I don't know. The problem was when we got there, when we got to the bar. <laughs> Before, like, we went right, me and you went right over to the bar, and I ordered shots for us. Before, Tequila shots. Yeah, before the bartender could even get us the shots, a fan from across the way sent us shots. And Jameson. you sent, like, eight of James, and you yeah. can't say no. And then well. there was fireball shots that were to sent, To be honest, too. that's what happened to me at Breezy, to where, and, like, I got a, I think I was by far the drunkest at Breezy, but people kept coming over, and there was a bar right there. So whenever fans wanted to take shots, like, you can't say no. So that's why we kept saying that was the whole bit of like what just started, like where we're like, oh, we're just gonna do one. So we're like twenty yeah. shots deep, and we're like, we only did we're one, one, one times. Just, just gonna, gonna do one. one. We just did <laughs> one. Like, we we left. We were there. We went to Bob's dinner. We went to this great bar. We left. We're like, fuck it. We went to two other bars, and then we came back. That's right. To yeah. the same one. That's right. We lost big waves somewhere along the line. Yeah. Yeah. Man. Well, he well, had he had a big day the next morning. He had a caddy the next morning. Yeah. He had a caddy the next day. You know what can't go overlooked that happened this weekend to me? It's one of the funniest things, and. It kind of flew out under the radar, and it shouldn't. Perez getting so drunk <laughs> at the pizza shop across from my apartment before we came on this trip. <laughs> he was so drunk. Uh, the, the, the pizza shop is directly across the street from me. It is a two-minute walk. He calls me because he was locked out of my place. He couldn't get through the gate at 3 in the morning. I go to open the gate from him, and he's not even like he's leaning on anything. He just looks at me. I open the gate for him, and he just falls <laughs> over, and he has just a second. It's like me opening the gate got him to stumble over, but to find out the next morning, not only did he take an Uber from the pizza shop across to me, he took an Uber black oh, yeah. from at 3 in the morning. Here's a look he of Perez goes, getting the Uber black. Hi, right, how's it going? All right, good night. <laughs> it's like that, uh, what's that like meme where they walk down? <laughs> and by the way, his alternative, which he almost did, which is he called crazy. me. No, but he was going to, what he, what Press thought he should do so that he could sleep was he was going to go from the pizza shop. Now, I'm in L.A., <laughs> From the pizza shop, he was going to order an Uber to San Diego so that he could sleep on the car ride there well, yeah. and then order one back so that so, I'd be up by the time. So, see, <laughs> so, I, I, is true. Yeah. true? So, so I, I, I realized, why not just check into I, a hotel no, no, room? No, no, because here's the thing. Here's the thing. I tried yeah, here that. Here we out. Here we So there's, here a, there's well, what could you want? There's From sort of here a, here there's sort of a, uh, a, a, a lost <laughs> period after midnight that you can't book a hotel room for that night anymore. Yeah, uh, wait, what? 
Because the night's already happened. You can't go online. It's the next. No, no. I looked. Wait, if you walk in. So. What? I mean, Perez, you couldn't even remember Bob's code. So, like. You can't book a hotel for that I night. You're lying. You because that night's over. You're lying. No, I swear to you. There's got to be a way around it. If I Bob, call, he couldn't remember your code. Uh, I'm like, somehow, call, but I wasn't in position to you call. Could, but you could walk <laughs> into a hotel. I tried. I got online and said, let me book a hotel for tonight. And I was like, oh, my God. I can only book one for tomorrow. Oh, God. Because it's it. tomorrow. I realized also that San Diego wasn't far enough. So I would have booked. I would have, I would have gotten an Uber. From your house to San Jose, which is about five hours. Oh my god. I would have slept five that hours. Cost you like I would have you woken me up. I would have gotten out and I would have immediately requested another Uber back. And I would have slept in that Uber for five hours. Honestly, that's ten hours of sleep there. Yeah. You'd be fucking ready to go the I know. next day. I know. My other it was so windy. I lost my hat in LA. So I, what was the destination you were mess. gonna put? Just San Jose, okay. California. I was, I was gonna put the Sharks Arena. <laughs> It's the only thing I could think of in San Diego. The only thing I could think of in San Jose. So by the way, so he's he comes back to my place and I'm fast asleep and he can't get in through the gate. So to avoid like anybody trespassing or whatever, this the lady who lives next to me, she's a bit of a psycho. She put like spikes on top of the spikes that, so, that you can just move. So yeah. So Prince tries to climb up on top. Well, that makes sense. He, he gets to the top of the wall and he looks down and he's like. Can't do it. So, so because he called me it's too far down, and he and I said, Perret, I I was asleep. It was three a.m. I call him back, which <laughs> I knew ultimately that something was probably wrong. You're a bad and he boy, goes, man. Bob's asleep. <laughs> he won't wake up. I, I can't get in. I can't get the code. And I was like, Oh Jesus! I was. By like, the way, I had the code. And then he goes, I had the code. The code and didn't then work. I go, Can you at I least go, acknowledge that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's on me. It okay, was on me. So he goes, I go. Well, you can come here. He goes. I think I'm going to jump. <laughs> and first of all, I don't know what he means in terms of jumping, but the idea of Perez jumping over anything to me was just not, I was like, dude, I didn't even yeah. know what he was talking about. Yeah. All I said is, do yeah. not jump. Yeah. You can yeah. sleep on my couch. I, like, I, I, think, I, I think I'm going to do it. I, I think wish, I'm going to jump. I, wish I was I, like, I do wish not I, jump. Yeah, I wish I had given you the same advice last night, Joseph. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, yeah, you told me last night to jump, and I told you not to. Oh, we will get into no. that for sure. Oh. Um, yeah, I, no, I... I um, but by the way, I was willing... I actually are. pulled the... I told Nicole, I was like, Perez is coming over. The dog woke up, and was I had to feed the dog. I said, I'm going to pull out the pull-out couch for him, because I, he can't get into Bob's. Well, that was my... Um, so I didn't have to do the Uber anymore once he answered. So then... The, yeah, the, once he answered, I had... I was going to do that. Yeah. Yeah. And finally, you called. And then you like, thank God. I'm I woke in. up and I, we were getting ready to go. I was packing my stuff. I had to go down to my car to get my bags. And my neighbor was there. And she looks at me and she's like, did somebody try and break in last night? And she points to the electrical box. And the electrical box, he like tried to stand. Yeah. It's I like tried this, to stand up on this thing. <laughs> yeah, it's I'm like, bigger than I think I am. It's like, <laughs> it's like bent? bent over. And oh, those yeah, spikes are just scattered <laughs> everywhere. And yeah. I just looked at her and I couldn't even hide it because I don't want to scare her that like somebody tried to yeah. And I just I looked at her. I was so out of it. I'm like. That was one of mine. I'll talk to him. And she was just like, what? It's one of mine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was. I should, um, write her, I should write her an apology note. Now, um, we do got to get, we definitely want to end. We're about to um, go over to the next Good Good Major part two um, that we're going to go to. Final day here at Palm Springs last night. Without question, I don't think anybody can argue it. The video of the century uh, took place and we're going to play it over. On the YouTube, if you're listening on audio, I recommend you go see this. Joey cold cuts in our Airbnb <laughs> trying to leave the garage. Uh, Perez, I'll give it to you to tell it just kind of how it broke down, and then we'll go over to cold cuts. But you kind of <laughs> were there for the whole thing, like, gauging the whole thing yeah. and telling them what to do. So I think I, I'll take some blame for this. Um, you should have just closed the garage door, gone around to the front door, locked it, gotten in the car. That's what I was going to do. But for the... Thank God you didn't. Um, there's, you know, <laughs> garage doors, yeah. new ones have the lasers at the bottom <laughs> just in case someone tries to walk out doesn't close on them. So you try, I tried to kind of tell you about it. You close the door, you walked out, you tripped the laser, it opened yeah, again. Yeah, people like, Joe, you see that I did that the first time because everybody's like, yeah. you're an idiot. Why don't you just walk out? I'm like, I did do that. Yeah, so I was like, you've got, there's a little laser. You have to like kind of jump over it. 
You said bunny hop. Oh well, yeah, like bunnies. Which is more than just like walking over. It, it implies like jumping. But that's go ahead. Is a bunny hop or a jump? Joe, higher. Joe, with all jump due, is definitely uh, higher than a bunny. Okay, with so. all with all due respect, Joe, you can't put this on him. I'm not. I'm just, yeah. I'm just can't. Talk, talk, talk your, uh, I'm not. I'm not putting it on him. I'm just. I'm just. <laughs> Clarifying. So I tell him, all right, there's a laser down there. You just need to clo- press the button and quickly come to the thing and get over the laser and you'll be fine. So he presses it. He runs. He never looks up at where the door is. And you just, you jumped as high as you could have. Yeah. It felt like. It felt like you, it you looked tried, like you tried to hurt You thought to yourself, I'm going to jump as high as possible. And your head and the door, the garage door, Met in a hole like Brian Dawkins I, and Emmett Smith. Watch your head. He's gonna hit his head. Watch your head. <laughs> I mean, it was like, it was one like of the loudest bubble. noises it, I've ever heard in my life. It, it hurt was like Sean. All hell. It was Sean Taylor in that <laughs> yeah. Pro Bowl. Yeah. Correct. Sean so, Taylor hitting that punter in the Pro, you, in the Pro Bowl. We're in the car, so when we see Joe and you could hear Jet saying he's gonna hit his head, he's gonna hit his head, and Prez originally he's like, watch No, he won't. Watch your head. Watch your head. Watch your head. Yeah, and then he goes. Watch your head, watch your head. And we're in the car, so Joe obviously can't see us. We see Joe jump up. The garage door slam his head, and then Joe just disappears. Backwards. And there's so silence. Quickly. Yeah. And so quickly. It yeah. was frightening, but Jet turns to me right when it happens, and I'm in the back, all the way back. And the Jet, Jet was turns to me, and he goes... Don't laugh yet. <laughs> don't laugh yet. I thought I thought he was dead because uh, he went up. I've never seen like <laughs> physics does doesn't work like that. Like he hit his head and then and then he he flatlined. Like he, got, he laid he down. Like he looked like an airplane just line. straight down. And you know the the worst part was that the worst part is that he tried it once without jumping. He ran through, yeah. hit the laser, and we're like, oh, it didn't work. Go in the house. He's like, no, fuck it. I'm gonna try this yeah. again. And try well, number two. You said two. it's not gonna work. I said it's gonna work. And, no, and he then he goes, it's gonna, gonna work. work. Yeah. So he's like, he's gonna hit his head, and you're like, watch your head. Boom! Right into the thing. Dude. He went up and then just flatlined. And when he hit the I ground, thought, I thought oh, I was gonna get. I thought that was it. Cutsy, when you say, hit the ground, I thought it was over. Yeah. I was so. I was actually like it's hilarious. But I popped but up so fast. You, you popped up incredibly. It felt fast. like it, it the, felt like an eternity. In the it did. I, but if you watch the video, like, I, the full I video, said, oh boy. Bob cut the video off. But if you watch the whole video, like I'm, I'm up in less I, than a second. But I think from yes. tickets angle, because yes. you, you were outside of the car with the video. Is that right? You went like above and out. Yeah. So. You popped up from that angle. From our angle, the first pop up you had, you still couldn't see you. Yeah. So you popped up. You go. Yo. You, go you go. Oh boy. <laughs> not, that's not ideal. Oh no. Oh, yeah. oh boy. I can't believe it just happened. That is not ideal. Don't laugh, dude. That we is... still, <laughs> still haven't seen you yet. Yeah. We still haven't we just seen you. That is not. Ideal. I don't until, even know. It wasn't until you stood up completely that we saw you again. I. I knew instantly as soon as I realized I wasn't seriously hurt, which took like half a second for me to realize. And I got up and then I realized these guys are gonna laugh their fucking balls off. But they might think I'm dead. I just said, oh boy, that's not ideal. Cause then I'm like, okay, now they're gonna start laughing. And then I came in here, I had scathing marks all over my elbows. So I wiped those down. I'm like, hopefully by the time I get out, they've stopped laughing. But by that time they had just seen the video and they were laughing like a pack of that fucking hyenas. And I'm like, I could be dead right now and these guys are dying. Can't Half- believe the ticket was recorded. And the yeah. worst part about it is Bob looks like a child on Christmas morn when he finds out that ticket has the fucking video. Yeah. He's like, you heard I've it? I've never seen somebody go from, go from I laughing to like, oh, you got it, you got it, you got it, are you seeing it? <laughs> You got it? No. You got it? Oh no. my god! No. <laughs> I can't, oh, I can't believe you did it. I can't believe you got it. You're not you're Take your line. I'm gonna be livid. I almost fucking died. This guy is thinking about the fucking playback music he's gonna put while it's slow motion of me getting <laughs> yeah. close to being and then, decapitated. So and then Joe wakes up in the morning to call Nicole at six in the morning. I was up at five in the morning giggling about the video. I was so excited to post it to the internet. That I couldn't sleep. I got barely any out. sleep yeah. last night. You're the sickest out of all of us, by the Probably. way. It's a real problem. It's the funniest. I honestly think, Bob, and, and we haven't even been one day. It, it, this happened at like 
eight thirty, nine o'clock at night, we would say. Yeah. And is now what twelve? Not even one o'clock the next mm -hmm. afternoon. I I swear he's watched six hundred and fifty times. No, maybe no, more. At minimum, probably get close to. We're probably approaching a thousand. If pieces. you, if you, honest to God count how many times I did it. Mind you, I went on an hour and a half walk with that entire hour and a half I was watching it. Maybe like a few breaks in between. It, it's the funniest video. There will never be. You show me a video on the internet that will ever beat that video. I'll say Ticket, no. I gotta ask you, what made you think to, to, to videotape it? Were you just like, this is gonna go terribly wrong? Or like, because you don't normally just pull your phone out and start filming. No, I was possessed. I was possessed by Bob. I, honestly, when I saw by you Bob. try the first time, when I saw you try to beat the, the garage door, <laughs> beat the lasers, I, oh, yeah, that makes I sense. knew something was going to happen. Yeah. Even the, even and you just pressed the Y button yeah. on Madden and just hurtled yeah. into the fucking even thing. Even a successful little hop through the door would have been pretty funny to see. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, where he so. like side hops through it and like, <laughs> yeah. you know, like, like when, Nicolas Cage yeah. or something. There was yeah. a moment when like, I, you know how they say when things happen like time slows down yeah. there's a moment when the thing hit me in the head like and i remember this thing smashing my head my head falling falling off and i just going back like this and i'm just thinking like how did we get to this point yeah well, no, how so are I we? The video. I no, I'm like, I'm like, yeah, you're probably like wondering how yeah, I got here. Like, how you got here. That video was the best. <laughs> I'm falling yeah, down like this, and I'm literally thinking to myself, "This could not have gone more." Chris, when you sent that video, I was thinking to myself, "I was like, there's no way he just sent like a somebody just like randomly posting that." And I knew there was going to be something at the end. Yeah. And it's that that classic TikTok meme where it's like, "Well, you're yeah, probably it thinking of him falling. Yeah. You're uh, probably wondering how I got uh, here." It's the best. When you when he went when you went back into the house like when you you got hit you went back into the house it took you 45 minutes to come back <laughs> out the front door <laughs> and we were just it was, in there. it was probably like a realistic were it was you probably a little, five were minutes you a little woozy? I, no the first thing i went in, i went in the bathroom and i made sure that i didn't have like a fucking like <laughs> scar or cut on my forehead i kind of felt my head and then my elbow was throbbing i had fucking scrape marks all up my fucking sleeves so i wet those down and cleaned myself up a little bit Put some water in my face, and then just looked at me, and I'm like, I'm gonna go out there, and they're gonna be fucking laughing. Dude, I and just, I walked yeah. out the door, you were right. and they were, were right. fucking yeah. howling. It <laughs> sounded like a pack of hyenas. Did you know he was filming? I did not know yeah, that because we didn't either. I thought you guys were just still laughing no. from the event happening. I, and we would have been. I tried to I tried to get it on video, but I missed it. There was a part where Joe were at the Good Good House right after that, and he's sitting next to Gary or somebody, and Joe just got the the ice pack on because well, it was throbbing. The he, thing it looked like a softball on my he's elbow. Eating a Pizza Hut breadstick, and he's got the ice on him, and he's just like <laughs> eating the breadstick, and he's just like shaking his head. <laughs> Because he's so pissed off that it happened. The funniest part about it is that there was never a time while he was running, and you said it, Prez. There was like there was never a time where he thought to, you would think like you gauge it and you look. Gotta up. look up. I thought you it was high like, enough that I, as like, long as I ran fast, it's, I thought I could beat the door. It's, it's like a, you know, what it was like it was like a, I believe you. It was like a center fielder who like a deep fly ball yeah. to the wall. Usually they kind of gauge. Never where looked the, at the wall. Like they'll look down for a second yeah. to gauge where they are. That just beelines it goes, dead center yeah. and doesn't no regard for the wall nope. and just because you watch the video and I'm looking at his face at no point does he give like a little like <laughs> that he's just focused <laughs> on getting out and so jumping you just have that still photo by the way the laser the laser is down. about this far off the ground <laughs> well it looked like it was a lot higher <laughs> this far I think it's all it's higher than you that. jumped. Yeah, but this. it's a hop. It's, it's a hop. <laughs> it, it is a hop. I mean, listen. Uh, it's, by the way, there's people online who are saying that it's staged. Fuck look em. at the oh, look at em. the oh, door. When I after I hit it, you can physically see it dented it. Dented we'll take a picture it. of the door. Plus, not oh. only that, like the sound alone, like you can't impose that. Like it was, yeah, it was, it was not ideal. It was, it was. My mom messaged me this morning thinking I have a concussion, and just like what you, she's like, what did she you call you? She called me a loser. Everybody. She loves me dearly, but I mean, in this case, I did truly feel like a little bit of a loser. I you lost that door. Yeah, I took, I took a big L on that one. That's oh. for sure. I, I just, I don't think I've ever laughed harder. And then even Josh Allen FaceTimes him in the morning yeah. when he went up, yeah, and it's just tough. like it just. Oh man! He's I like, just tell me that was staged. I was like, I don't know what oh to tell my you. Oh god! Because it, was it wasn't funny. staged, man. I couldn't sleep. I couldn't sleep. I was so. We excited. even got back to the apartment, to the to the Airbnb, like two and a half hours later, 
and we were waiting for the hot tub to heat up and Perez was on the couch here and Bob was here and both howling. <laughs> Perez is laughing so hard that he was like, ah! I, I thought was he was choking. like going to like run out of breath I and was choke. Choking. He was choking. He was laughing so I was so just hard. making so many variations of it. Oh great. my the Jackass God. theme song. With that line, bow, bow, bow. You, your line, I thought I could beat the door is uh, all time. Yeah. I honestly, did, well, you said you didn't look up because I was like, if I run fast enough, the door's not going to come That's down. It's hotter than I, the sun. I saw it coming from a mile. <laughs> you were running and that door, yeah, you're did. a tall guy and nobody hops. Nobody can like hop an inch off the ground. If you're hopping, you're hopping. You know what I mean? Like the lowest hop is a few inches. That I saw that bullet coming at you. In retrospect, I told you, get to the door. Step over, like lean down, step yeah. over again. The door, if I took, if I went too long, it would have been <laughs> the best. coming down. That clip, so that clip is going to live on forever. I, like, I'll show my kids that clip. Huh? Um, it's more Bob to sports than any golf shot we've ever hit. Oh, man. The it's, best, the best, my dad said it to me this morning about Joe, because my dad just keeps watching the video over and over, too. He said it this morning. It's the best way to describe Joe. If anybody ever asked, like, how to describe Joe, I just bull in a china shop. Like, that expression for Joe Everything is 120%. There's no one speed. It, it's it's pretty unbelievable. He, he's the most extreme human in the world. Like, yeah. I always say every, if you take every human uh, personality trait and just mm -hmm. take the most extreme, that's him. That's yeah. A, but that's the best. Because for so long, we've tried to figure out the best he's, way to describe well, He doesn't have every trait, but like, every trait he has is, on, is, uh, is 100. He's everything. Yes. He's, the, yeah. he's the funniest, nicest, loudest, craziest. Like, every, yeah. he's everything. We love you. Yeah. No, I love you guys too. We love you, Joseph. All right, boys. So we got a big, big one ahead again. Um, fun podcast again. We like doing the podcast sometimes where we don't really even talk much about Bob to sports. I think we have a good mix to it. Um, but we are off to do some more filming. Terrific Palm Springs strip. Just oh. <laughs> never, never oh. fails. Um, love you, boys. Love all the folks out there. Again, to the YouTube page. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube page. Click like on it, the whole nine yards. We love you, folks. We appreciate you. Um, we will see you next time. That's been another edition of the Bob Does Sports Podcast. Take care. Bye -bye. Bye -bye.